Today we are going to find out how well four Americans know U.S. history. Uh, and see if you know U.S. history better than they do. I'm glad <laughs> I'm not competing, because I would probably suck. Who are you? Jason Alexander. I <laughs> Samuel am... Adams Beer. Uh, Samuel Adams Beer. <laughs> cool, I'll go with that one. <laughs> yeah. Our contestants today are Ian, Arasha, Noah, and Tommy. And the topic is, of course, U.S. history. Our categories are, here's the T, that's all American Revolution stuff. He said, what? <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> that's, that is all, uh, finish the quote, uh, things like that. Not just Hamilton, it's all U.S. history musicals uh, besides so Hamilton. So even more limited. Super yep. limited. Status quo, that's all state history. Uh, and Oopsie Daisy is the biggest pre presidential failures in U.S. history. Here we go. Uh, we've had plenty of those. <laughs> All right, uh, let us begin. Um, I have no idea how to decide who goes first. Who's the most American person here? On the last. I <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what, Ian, you go ahead. <laughs> oh, because you're our president. Oh, yeah, oh you're the God. president, oh. Smosh. Yeah. So you go so ahead. You should pick Oopsie oh, Daisy. Not my president. There right. you go. I, I really want to jump right to up, so let's go oopsie daisy for 50. You got yeah. it. Known as Silent Cal, this president liked to pull pranks, such as buzzing for his bodyguards and then hiding under his desk when they showed up. Yeah, Noah. Uh, uh, Silent Cal, is that Calvin Coolidge? That is Calvin Coolidge. Oh my hey, god. We got it, we got it. This guy. I love yeah. that though, that he was just like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> How bored was he? That's he had awesome. Work to do. Uh, let's go back in time. Uh, I'm inspired by the outfit. Here's the tea for 50. In today's dollars, the tea destroyed in the Boston Tea Party was worth approximately A, $3,000, B, $540,000, C, $1.7 million, or D, $2 billion. Ian. I'm gonna go with C, $1.7 million. That is correct. Oh my God. Hey, it takes a long time to ship that tea. That feels like it's actually not a massive blow to a kingdom. Like that that's no. the right. Kingdom of England. I don't think no. they would care. No. Maybe at the time they but care. It's, it's 1.7 according to inflation. Yeah. So like, that's yeah. nothing. Oh. That's yeah, nothing. they were like $80 back that's, then? That's nothing. To huh. that's, a piece, that's a piece of bread back then. <laughs> They're like, uh, Ian, go ahead. Let's go with, he said, what? President Franklin D. Roosevelt famously said, the only thing we have to fear is, oh, Ian. Shit. Fear itself. There you go. That is correct. I, I will be honest. I, I, me too. I don't know why I thought that one was JFK. I thought it was JFK. Oh. I, I've always said, right like, now. the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. No, because that was like a World War II quote. That's true. That's I thought true. that was like Muhammad Ali. He might have said it too. Anyone can say I guess, anything. I guess everybody <laughs> can say it. Okay, Ian, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, let's go, I I'm not gonna touch that musical one because I don't know musicals. Touch it, touch it. Let's go state us quo. Before it was moved to Washington, D.C., the U.S. Capitol was based where? Arasha. New York. Was not New York. Noah. I think it's Virginia. It was not Virginia. Okay, I got another guess. Tommy, Tommy impressed it and you did. You got oh. it. Uh, Pennsylvania? It was Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I was right! Wow. That was a guess! Wow. Yeah. Nice. Good job. I that oh, the Philadelphia Convention. I don't know, was it ever in New York? No. no. That's, it is kind of deceiving, because you would think. Yeah. No, because like, Philadelphia's got like the Liberty Bell and stuff. New York doesn't have any of that Pennsylvania's got the birds, huh? <laughs> we got the birds! That's who you are! Hey, yeah, I'm, a bird. I'm an Eagles fan. <laughs> All right, uh, Tommy, go ahead. All right, let's do it. Not just Hamilton 50, please. You're okay. Brain. This 2015 off-Broadway musical featuring numbers such as A Star Is Born and Monica's Song was named after which U.S. president? Uh, Ian. Come on, man. Monica's song has got to be about Bill Clinton, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. Yeah. <laughs> Clinton the musical. D someone plays a saxophone at some point in it. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. He's okay. definitely got a solo. Let's go with Oopsie Daisy for 100. Allegedly, President Bill Clinton ignited chaos in the White House when he lost track of Noah. I don't know, like the nuclear button? Do they like the nuclear word? football. I don't think that's how it... The nuclear football. 
the uh, briefcase, I don't know. No. Well, the nuclear codes, like the nuclear football is the briefcase with the codes How do you think in. that oh, works? Oh, the nuclear football. The nuclear football, I, I will accept. Okay. Because it was a, this says a card containing the nuclear codes. Okay. Got oh. it, got it. Cool, Numerous cool. sources reported this was true. Ooh. Uh, so, he lost the nuclear But codes. like in the office, right? I don't know. See, if he just had an air tag, yeah. that wouldn't have <laughs> but been a problem. Noah, yeah. you get 100 points. Come on, nice. I do need those points. I do just want to say, I was going to answer that he lost track of his <laughs> I was going to go with marriage of some sort. So oh, we're there on the same you page. go. Yeah, we were going to be sassy. That's about awesome. It. Noah, go ahead. You know what? I'm going to do it to piss everyone off. Let's do not just Hamilton for 100. Oh. You got God. it. This aptly named Sondheim musical features characters such as John Wilkes Booth, John Hinckley Jr., and Squeaky From. Noah. Abraham Lincoln, the musical. Ian. Lincoln, the musical. <laughs> uh, Tommy. It, it's probably like all about Abe. Ooh, that was good. Uh, Rasha, let me reread this one more time. Oh. This aptly named Sondheim musical features characters such as John Wilkes Booth, John Hinckley Jr., and Squeaky From. Is it? John's? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it's about toilets. No. No, nobody gets it. It is called Assassins. Oh. Oh, that, that's, that came to me later. My high John, school did that. I didn't John know Hin Hinckley Jr. was, uh, that was the Reagan guy, right? That was the cat, the guy who read Catcher in the Rye and was like, I need to shoot Reagan. Who was, <laughs> who was the like Squeaky Jr. guy? Oh, Squeaky From was from the Manson That's family. Scary. That's not. Okay. All right, let's do a, he said what for 100. Finish this famous President Richard Nixon quote. I am not a Noah. Crook. That he is was, correct. He was a crook. I am not a crook. He was. He was. I uh, hate to break it to people at home, he was. Uh, Noah, go ahead. Wow. Uh, let's do, uh, here's the T for 100. The majority of soldiers in the Revolutionary War died due to A, friendly fire, B, disease, C, malnutrition, D, enemy fire. Uh, we've got a Rasha. I'm gonna go with B. That is correct. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, go yeah. ahead, Arasha. You know what, Sorry. I'm gonna go I'm with, gonna... he said, what? Okay. Which president is known for saying, speak softly and carry a big stick? You will oh, go far. Sorry. I clicked too soon. Quick. I should be disqualified. No, it's okay. It's I'm okay. So Noah, go ahead. He's the guy on the moose. Uh, Teddy Roosevelt. There we go. Oh, damn. There you go. The guy sorry, on the God. moose? <laughs> the guy on the moose. He won the moose. Roosevelt. President Theodore Roosevelt, yes. Teddy. Okay, so the points are in. Tommy, you have 50 points. Cool. Noah, you have 400 points. That's, awesome. Whoa. That's how many states there are. Arasha, you have 100 points. I got 100%. <laughs> and Ian, you have 150 points. Yeah. Okay. Very good. We're getting into the big boys here, so it's anyone's game. Noah, go ahead. Uh, I will show off the lovely merchandise that my co-stars are wearing. Whoa. For 100 points. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Wait, you can get this shirt at Smosh.com? Wow. I recommend sizing up. I'll Actually, do status quo for 100 points. What state was named after Queen Elizabeth I's love life? Arasha. Oh, oh sorry. The silence. <laughs> Wyoming. <laughs> That's Wyoming. Why do you, hey. why, why, <laughs> all right. I, we're going to go to Noah, but then I want to know why. There's like oh, a 34th man. state. Okay, uh, Noah, go ahead. Uh, is there a state called uh, Maryland? There, I mean. Wow. <laughs> is that protect, a state? Protect this. Is Maryland. that one of the states? Uh, does anyone else want to guess? That is not correct. <laughs> sure. Ian. Virginia. It is Virginia. Hey. Oh, there you go. She was called the Virgin Queen. Wow. Wow. Incel. There you go. Mm. <laughs> Incelia. <laughs> <laughs> I like Maryland. Yeah. That's so Wyoming. One. Look. I like that there was a swath of just land that they had not really like <laughs> taken yet. And they were like, you know, yeah. well, what about Wyoming. that place way out there? Look, the silence just shocked me that not, they all have been like like buzzing in. So when it was just me, I was like, <laughs> nobody knows this. <laughs> Ian, go ahead. Uh, let's do, uh, let's do status quo for 150. Alaska was the 49th state to join the union. 
What year did this happen? A, 1945, B, 1932, C, 1959, D, 1971. Arasha. 1932. Ian. I want to say it was 59, but that sounds way too late, but I feel like it was 59. It was 59. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> nice. How do you feel this? 59. <laughs> 59. Oh. I, mean, nice. I, feel like I, read, I feel like I read that date, but then like sitting here, I'm like, that's way too late. All right, Ian, go ahead. You know what, let's do he said what for 200. <laughs> okay. Wow. Fill in the blanks of this quote from Abraham Lincoln. Leave nothing for blank, which can be done blank. Noah. Uh, uh, leave nothing for tomorrow that can be done today. Noah, that is correct. Wow. Get Way to go. Nice. Bravo. Thank you so much. That's crazy. Noah, mm -hmm. go ahead. We all love the category, not just Hamilton, 150. Oh. The Tony Award winning musical 1776 chronicles which major event in U.S. history? Uh, Arasha. The signing of the Declaration of Independence, also known as America's Freedom. Did you actually, like, have you seen this, this play? No. Oh, well, you got it right. I just. That's yeah. the right date. Yeah. That is, That's what I thought. I was like, am I dumb? Yeah, I got scared too. I was like, wait. <laughs> am I dumb? Well, I mean, a lot of things happened that they could be around. You, you said exactly, like, literally the yeah. signing the yeah. signing of the Declaration of Independence. Oh, That's yeah. why I'm yeah. like, oh, do you oh, know yeah. this? Well, then I added in that little blurb in case you had something else. No, no, you Great. got it. Yeah. We can fine. just cut that right out. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll make Great. you look super smart. <laughs> Thank okay, you. Okay, go ahead, Arasha. Let's do. Oopsie daisy for 150. Which of the following was not an actual presidential pet? A, a parrot. B, opossums. C, an alligator. D, a ferret. Arasha. Possums. We'll go over to Tommy. An alligator? Wow. Ian. What was that oh, first one you oh. said? A parrot. A parrot? It's, yeah, parrot. Damn, what? I. Uh, it's the I ferret. guess it goes to Noah. Yeah, it's the ferret. I was gonna say ferret the whole time because ferrets are illegal say... in most states. They steal things. <laughs> yeah, and what do ferrets can be trained do? to be thieves? Alligators eat people. Okay, but possums are like evil. Well, also let's be clear. There's o a difference possum. between an opossum and a possum. It's an opossum. We oh. I mean, in America we have opossums. Australia has possums. But they look the exact same. And no, really, they look different. They look different. Possums yeah, are different cute. Guys. Ours, but are we call them ugly. possums here. It um, possums aren't. Anyways, cute. so so Noah, you get it. That's right. Uh, My default. Andrew Jackson had a parrot. Benjamin Harrison had opossums. John Quincy Adams had an alligator. Why? <laughs> sorry, yeah, sorry for the opossum. I'll hate. make the rules. For the moat. Yeah, there used to be a moat. moat around the uh, White House. All right, Noah, go ahead. Here's the tea for 150, please. Lobsterback was a rude revolutionary era term used to describe who? It goes to Noah. The British soldiers, they were wearing red. That is correct. You even explained it. Yeah. All they were right. wearing red. Who else is lobsterbacks? Noah, you have been uh, hustling look at those us yeah. this entire game. I thought that you didn't remember a push. I didn't I didn't know one of the states, okay? I think this says more about you guys than me. All right, Noah. Uh, I love this category, not just Hamilton, 200 points. Centered on events like the Battle of New Orleans and the formation of the Democratic Party, Bloody Bloody Blank is a rock musical about this president. Oh, shoot. Noah. My favorite president ever. You gotta be careful saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Took it back. Um, I'm trying to think of any president around during that time and I have no idea. Taft. It's not Taft. Oh, that's a good guess. Though. Ian. Okay, you made it sound like it was a bad guy. So I'm going to say, just based off like somebody being bloody, bloody, and terrible, Andrew Jackson? It is Andrew Jackson. Wow. You're right. Wow. Let's go. Uh, that guy clues. sucked. Arguably, I, I, arguably psychopath president. I yeah. mean, not arguably. He, he wow. was a full-on psychopath. Yeah, he's uh... Only president to kill hostages. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. Personally? He just earned my respect back. <laughs> Ian, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, let's do whoopsie daisy for 200. Which of these is not a way that a U.S. president has died <laughs> while in office? <laughs> a, pneumonia. B, a botched appendix surgery. C, sudden heart attack. D, cherries. Tommy. Uh, appendix surgery. That is correct. Yes! Yeah! Oh! How did the cherries kill him? Uh, 
So, so pneumonia killed uh, Harrison. He refused to wear a coat during his inauguration, caught hypothermia, and died of pneumonia after 31 days in office. Wow. wow. Smart. Uh, sudden heart attack was Warren G. Harding, but the original theory was that he was poisoned. Uh, cherries was Zachary Taylor, who was thought to have died from consuming a copious of, uh, amount of highly acidic cherries and ice cold milk. D is heavily contested, still has no definitive answer. Um, oh my God, that is a horrible call. Cool. They've stopped looking into that. I mean, cherries and milk. <laughs> <laughs> I got a cherries and milk. <laughs> cherries and milk. That's what I was going for. Yeah. Should we have a cherries and milk party and see who dies? Tommy, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, I feel so comfortable now that I have more points. Let's go with status quo for two hundo. Besides Texas, name two other states that were once formally recognized as independent countries. Noah. I'm gonna go California, we know that one. Republic of California. Second one, uh, Hawaii? That is correct. Wow. Cow, 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 cow. Yeah. Uh, way to go. The others were Vermont, Florida, West Florida, Oregon, and uh, yeah. This could differ depending on what a historian considers a formally recognized country, but these six seem to be consistent across different sources. I didn't know there were that many. Yeah, I didn't either. Um, there, there could be others that you could, historically you could consider, but you guessed two that were on our list. So okay, way to cool. go. Uh, Noah, go ahead. Uh, let's do not just Hamilton. Uh, here's the <laughs> tape for 200. All right. The first gunshot in the battles of Lexington and Concord has been famously described as... Uh, Ian. The shot heard around the world? That is correct. Wow. Way to go. Way to go, guys. You guys did really well. English was my subject, so it was just, uh, I was just happy to be here. Yo, Ian, <laughs> California public education. There we go. That's what we're talking about. I went to an arts high school. Oh. oh. I went then to Texas. Then why didn't you get any of these? <laughs> why didn't you know these, Tommy? <laughs> it is time for final Beppardy. Oh, forgot about that. Yes! All right. Hold on. Oh, okay. uh, in the meantime, I'll stand like a president. <laughs> That's my president right there. Wait, go more, go more yeah. horizontal. I feel like you gotta have go your more arms. that way. You gotta let your arms kind of fall. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Good. Wait, wait. Can you dance? Can you dance like him? Just do oh, a little yeah, bit of it. You... Oh. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> no, you have too much leg movement. You're right. It's... All right. For this final Beppardy, there's no wagering. You will do your best to guess all of the correct answers, and for every correct answer, you will get 200 points. You must assign the correct names to these sets of facial hair. I love that. There's four facial hair sets, there's five names. There's an extra name up here just to throw you Are off. all of so, them presidents? I don't know. <laughs> I don't I either. I don't, I think so. Now, you may begin, write the number, and then put a name next to it that you think this belongs to. They weren't all bald, though. No, 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 we're not counting. It's facial hair. I'll take 100 points for that. Okay, wow, fine. good job. You did know that. Got like a pretty badass mustache there. People with mustaches are really cool. Yeah. This is Old Man Logan. Holy crap, that one's impressive. And then, you know, classic. Uh, this is uh, Limb Biscuit. So. Did they even have pictures back then? How do we believe what they drew? <laughs> Yeah, I am also taking a stand and not answering this. I haven't seen a single president on TikTok. I don't know anything now. <laughs> I've seen Obama, Trump, and Joe Biden play Call of Duty. All right, you may reveal your answers. Let's see them. Okay, it's gonna be confusing. Okay, okay. So, number one here was William Howard Taft. Let's yes. go, Gosh. let's go. Yes. Are you okay. sure? Okay, so Ian and Tommy, you get points yeah. for number one. That's a Taft stash. Number two is President Martin Van Buren. Oh. He wow, I stylized, I stylized it like Bjork. Tommy got wow. it. Wow. Oh my God. You well Tommy, you're gonna make a comeback. Uh, number three <laughs> is Chester A. Arthur. Damn. Boo. Yeah, uh, nobody three, gets it. I got two and three mixed up. And number four, is President Abraham Lincoln. That's right. Cool. Uh, everyone got that one correct. Uh, I should point out that William Samuel Johnson was never a president, he was just a senator. Wow. That's you tried to so hoodwink sad. us. You guys didn't know that? I'm just a host. <laughs> I, didn't write, I didn't write this. Yeah. Here are the final points. Arasha, you got 450 points. That's huge. That's huge. Wow. Tommy, you got 1,050 points. Wow! Whoa! You went from 50 to 1,050. Come That's back, right. King. Thank you so much. Ian, 
you got 1,200 points. Oh. Wow. Okay. And Noah, you win with 1,300 points. Whoa. Oh, barely. Oh, my God. Damn, that was close. Oh. Close game. Oh. Uh, way to go, Noah. Congratulations. Um, great job. You guys really did very well on this. Um, I can't believe there's so many musicals about uh, the U.S. Um, <laughs> and thank you all for watching. Let us know in the comments what other topics you want us to cover on Bepperty, and we'll do it. And, um, you know, we'll see you later. Reveal your identity. N okay. Okay, guys. <gasps> oh! oh. William Samuel Johnson! That's me! <laughs> <laughs> You've got me!